Alright guys, next review I want to do today is the DC Universe Classics Deathstroke figure. One of my viewers asked that I do this review, so here it is. Might as well do it since I'm going to look at some Deadpool figures, and if you know anything about these characters, they're kind of connected. So anyway, this is the DC Universe Classics Deathstroke. It is actually a pretty decent figure. Excuse that I have his leg warped out of shape right now. I have to put that under some hot water. But um, obviously it didn't come that way, so no, no complaints. Um, there are a few other complaints though, so pay attention. It is a cool figure, don't get me wrong, but there are some problems. First thing I want to talk about is everything he comes with. Got this, because I didn't buy it when it first came. I didn't get it with the uh, Collect and Connect piece, I got the base instead. Comes with a rifle, a really strange looking rifle, but this is the rifle he has. It's really soft plastic too, so that's kind of weird. It does have a strap on it that comes off. But, um, yeah, I don't usually have him holding it anyway, so that's the rifle he comes with. He comes with this metallic staff. Uh, not a whole lot to say about that. It has some sculpted details, but it's a big silver staff. It has a pistol that goes in this holster, which actually snaps closed, so that's a nice little detail. But still, the pistol is just a really goofy-looking gun. So, not, I mean, I'm not overjoyed with these accessories. But it's nice that he has them, because he could easily not have any, so I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out things to look for. He comes with a sword that fits in the sheath that connects to his hip. It's meant to stay on there. The sword's not bad. It's nice and stiff. Uh, not too flimsy like some of the other weapons we've seen. It's got decent detail in the handle. Some uh, dry brushing or some washing going on, so not too bad. He holds all the weapons just fine. The sword could be a little better. The staff could be a little better. So you just kind of it's kind of loose in there, but he does hold it, and it goes in the sheath nicely. So pretty cool. He has this. I guess it's supposed to be an ammo belt. It's loose. It can come off, but uh, I guess I just leave it on there because it adds a little more contrast to the character. The bow staff snaps in to the belt, so you can keep that on him. And then, like I said, this has a strap, so you can put that on his shoulder or something and then he's just fully loaded but it's all kinda clunky and awkward so I don't recommend that alright on to the figure let's get all this stuff out of the way standard DCU articulation everywhere uh, the same head as always ball joint shoulders bicep swivel single jointed elbow wrist articulation mine's stuck but it does rotate on both sides Hands are really soft on this guy. I don't know why they gave him such rubbery hands, but they are. And they're not quite the same color as the painted orange, but that's the way it is. Ab crunch, waist articulation is really tight, but it's there. Standard hip, in and out, front to back, all that. Thigh swivel is actually pretty nice because it's hidden by these belts, so I like that a lot. Single jointed knees, no shin articulation, and then regular single jointed ankles no rocker in there pretty cool looking figure nonetheless get him in some nice poses uh, the head is sculpted I guess fairly well I mean it looks like him but there's not a whole lot of detail there's no shading going on these are pretty stiff and they only stick out to the one side so it kind of limits the the uh, posing to a degree not terrible though um, one of the bigger complaints I have about this guy is he, neither of his hands have a trigger finger and he comes with two different guns so obviously it would be nice to have a trigger finger especially since he's got a you know no trigger finger and the guns or the weapons that aren't guns he still doesn't hold very well so it's kinda it doesn't really serve him to have no trigger finger he might as well have it if he's not gonna hold them anyway but nonetheless it is a decent figure he's got a lot of nice sculpted detail that most DCU figures don't have so anytime I can get some sculpting out of Mattel I like it and since he's got the scales, which are painted metallic, dry brush, and all, all the boots and the gloves and the straps and everything, it's definitely one of my more likable DCU figures. Just because it has the extra, you know, added detail that most of the figures don't have. I'll give you a quick close-up look on some of the details, and then we'll call that a wrap. There you can see the scaling and the pattern on that sleeve, and on this one he's got slightly different design going on. It's got that sculpted in belt buckle right there. It doesn't come off or anything. I don't really know why it's there, but it is there. 
He's got some pouches around his belt. Not real great paint, no shading on there, but they are there. Of course, the holster and the sheath. And then he's got the belt on his legs and the boots. Not a whole lot to look at, but it is what it is. And there's his head with his orange side with the black part around his eye. And there's the black part with nothing. And a bandana thing that could be better. So there you have it, DC Universe Classics, Deathstroke. Could be a better figure, but still better than most. So it's a good figure. I recommend buying it. Can't hurt to have him in the collection. Pretty cool character, pretty cool figure. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more reviews and more custom figures. And in the meantime, keep collecting.